Hi, let's talk about sorting our trash. I know this is a pain and this is really hard and changes all the time. But let's get some tips. Hi, I'm Helke and I'm here to talk about sustainable lifestyle and get excited, we are sorting trash today. Uh, we're gonna talk about composting, recycling and landfill we have all that last week i was in an event in sports basement and i had the person that was speaking from sf environment so they are recycling uh, a lot more things and that's good good news what happens let's talk a little about recycling recycling what the city is going to recycle things that they have how to sell is economic purpose also so if people are buying or industries and buying some things they will get that together to be recycled as why they don't uh, recycle um, styrofoam it's not because it's not recyclable the thing is it's expensive process and we don't have buyers that's why we don't recycle them you know I have to have these two edges, just these two things to think about it. But let's do our part, what we can do with it. Other thing, composting. Some cities has composting, industrial composting. Some, they don't. I know some cities that have like private groups, they're composting together. I know in some other places people compost in their backyard so and everything that you put for composting is different each one of them has some things that are specifics let's go for that industrial composting you can have those cups plates utensils that is comes with a uh, certification that they are compostable you can throw that for compost but you cannot do that on your backyard okay other thing that's really important plastics you gotta be compostable bag and this can go to composting because it's plant-based biodegradable or any of those you cannot put for composting this is fundamental okay what can we compost everything that comes from food you can compost both backyard and industrial what cannot go for backyards meat dairy and those utensils uh, those can go for industrial ones as plants and trees and all that okay I, I'm gonna put a list so you can check it In the end of the video just check the list what can go and cannot go okay and the recycling also it depends each city what do they recycle now here in san francisco that i got in this uh, event that i went the bubble package normally comes from amazon they are recycling it now they used not to the thing is when you have two materials like you have aluminium and plastic or paper and plastic together glue together this is really hard to recycle gets really expensive that's why it is not recyclable but they do recycle tetra pack so this goes for recycling okay though so let's see how I'm sorting here so you can have a clue of that okay let's start sorting our trash and showing how it should be okay compost uh, remember that we have to check in each city how they work and if you don't have uh, compost in your city if you're doing it at home everything is different each city is different so you have to know how it works in your city or if it's a background backyard composting okay and first thing what do we have here the bag you see should have say compostable okay 
it's plant based or if it's biodegradable, it doesn't matter. It has to be written compostable. Okay, that's fundamental. And then here, what do we have here inside? We have food scraps like bread stuff, peels from banana, lime, lemon. Uh, well, normally it's a kind of yucky trash, you know? And you have paper like that's paper without glue that has uh, been wet or is with food is here inside and food stuff okay this is all what it can and if it is an industrial composting we also can use some utensils uh, cups plates that is written compostable okay let's go for the recycle let's remember something recycling is also uh, an economic thing so it's going to be recycled in the city what they can sell you know they only going to recycle a product that you can sell and make profit of it and you have two kinds of recycling the one from the city that recycles all the thing and we have the closed loop recycles that is you see this uh, this is from HP you, you use it and you get this envelope and you send them back directly you know so this is a closed loop this is the best one okay let's go back to the one that produced it this is the best one I do this for uh, HP cards and also for capsules for Nespresso I get these bags already sealed everything they go back to them so they take care of everything the compostable part and the recycling part and the regular one that we do at home we have cardboard you see then we have like to fold them so smaller uh, new cards this is what's this is dry clean and dry you see clean and dry everything this is not yucky or dirty at all you see and now here in san francisco they are accepting this i was in a meeting uh last week thursday on sport basement and the person from sf environment told like they are receiving this for recycling now they used not to do it but now they're doing cans paper more boxes Cans, paper, glass, paper, paper, little boxes, boxes, paper, paper, plastics, all the plastics you can here in San Francisco, they told us like you don't even have to look nothing. If it's plastic, you just put it in. Plastic bottle. Can the other one paper this is the upper part of the envelope boxes cans and paper this is the recycling one okay and let's see now the landfill one we're gonna check it out. That's packaging. You see, actually, everything's packaging. Even <laughs> the composting one is packaging for the fruit, but it's kind of packaging. Okay. Oh, this is one could be paper, but since it has this plastic, you gotta go to a landfill. You know, it's my those papers go to landfill. Two materials, landfill, landfill. Okay. Those, do you see, we have the two materials here, so that's why this gotta go to landfill. Oh, uh, I just found a plastic here, but it's with seaweed. This can go here, but I just have to wash it this, okay? I'm gonna put it down here. Those plastics, 
this is landfill this here landfill landfill those papers has uh, cleaning products that's why I cannot put them on the because they're contamination from chemistry so I cannot put them on the compost this mixer material all this landfill and this plastics this this here has glue and that this paper that's why I cannot put it on the compost or recycling gotta go to landfill plastic landfill potatoes chips some onions you see all those and this plus this this all goes to landfill you see landfill so that's what we got how we sort our trash I hope those tips have helped you in a certain way it's gonna be a little bit more clear for you how you sort your trash but if you still have doubts please write it to me I'm gonna answer you sometimes I do have doubt doubts so what do I do I call or I email Recology, so they answer me and I start sorting a little bit better my trash and they change and each city is different so we always have to be asking and know what's changing okay and thank you for being here thank you for being part of this journey thank you for being willing to this effort for our planet thank you I hope to see you next video oh don't forget to subscribe this is really important for us okay Beijo!